PUBG Mobile New Runic Power Mode is now available. The various runes in this new mode will grant you new powers. When you enter Spawn Island, you'll receive some effects from the runes. Choose your preferred rune out of the three choices to bring into the match. You'll need crystals to activate your runic powers, so you must search for and collect crystals during the match. Having enough crystals will ensure that you can keep using your runic powers throughout the match. Let's introduce the special abilities of the runes. Flame Rune. The Flame Rune has two abilities, Magma Wheel and Scorching Ammo. It costs 10 crystals to use Magma Wheel. When this ability is used, a Magma Wheel that rolls forward slowly will be summoned in front of the player. It will roll forward for 10 seconds and then stand still for 120 seconds before it disappears. The skill cooldown is 10 seconds and you can only use up to 3 Magma Wheels. Magma Wheels deal burn damage to enemies they touch, and enemies will continue to take damage while they are burned. Magma Wheels have a certain amount of durability. Normal shots will decrease their durability until they're completely destroyed. Freezing Ammo deals 1.5 damage to Magma Wheels, and melee weapons deal 20 times the damage. It costs 5 crystals to use Scorching Ammo. When this ability is used, the player's ammo becomes Scorching Ammo that burns enemies hit and deals damage for a period of time. The ability lasts for 30 seconds and has a 15 second cooldown. The Wind Room has two abilities, Wind Shelter and Wind Boost. It costs 10 crystals to use Wind Shelter and the skill cooldown is 60 seconds. When this ability is used, the player will be protected by a protective barrier. Wind Shelter has a radius of three meters and is able to protect the player from all directions. Wind Shelter reduces the damage of bullets shot from outside the shield by 27%, but doesn't reduce the damage of bullets shot from inside the shield. Wind Shelter lasts for 55 seconds, but doesn't move with the player. It costs five crystals to use Wind Boost. The ability boosts the player's abilities for 30 seconds. When Wind Boost is active, the player's reloading speed is increased by 50%. Movement speed is increased by 10%, and the player will also deal 1.5 damage to ice walls. The cooldown of the ability is 60 seconds. Arctic Rune The Arctic Rune has two abilities, Ice Wall and Freezing Ammo. It costs 10 crystals to use Ice Wall. When this ability is used, a 3x3 grid-sized Ice Wall is created in front of the player. The Ice Wall is made up of 9 blocks of ice and each block of ice has its own durability. Each block of ice disappears when its durability is reduced to zero, but their disappearance does not affect the status and position of the other blocks. This makes it difficult for enemies to completely destroy your ice wall at once. Any player standing on top of the ground where the ice wall is created will be lifted up into the air by the ice wall. Players can also climb on top of the ice wall or use the ice wall to climb to even higher places. This skill has a cooldown of 10 seconds, and the player can cast three ice walls at a time for protection. However, bullets that are reinforced by the wind boost skill will deal 1.5 damage to ice walls, and melee weapons will deal 20 times the damage. It costs five crystals to use freezing ammo. When this ability is used, the player's ammo becomes freezing ammo and freezes enemies that are hit. The ability lasts for 30 seconds and has a 15 second cooldown. The freeze effect reduces the effectiveness of healing when players use recovery items. Freezing ammo also deals 1.5 damage to magma wheels. Now that you've seen the above contents, which rune do you think suits you best? The flame rune that boosts your attacks, the arctic rune that boosts your defense, or the wind rune that makes you more nimble and flexible? Use your exclusive runic power. Take part in the challenge to decide the strongest rune.